On the 23rd day since teachers started their strike, the government has ordered the closure of all public primary schools. It was the second day after the latest deadline issued by Education Secretary Jacob Kaimeni. He warned teachers that if they did not report back to work by Tuesday morning, there would be disciplinary action against them. The government hereby, one, orders the closure of all public schools indefinitely. The government's closure is indefinite, and with the debt for reopening now uncertain, government is assuring class 8 pupils that measures will be put in place to ensure that they are ready for their examinations. Number two, assures all class 8 pupils, parents, and the public that adequate arrangements have been made to address their situation with respect to their Kenya Certificate of Primary Education Examinations. Meanwhile, the Teachers Service Commission and the Kenya National Union of Teachers were in court again this morning to present their final submissions in the contempt proceedings against NAT. NAT, which had been given time to respond to a contentious affidavit of service, maintained that no attempt was made to serve Sosion and Zili on July 2nd as alleged by TSC. Lawyer Chacha Odera told the court that the process server had not visited the NAT registry as he had claimed given that his name was not in the visitor's book. Odera said that the second floor motor visited at NAT house did not have the registry. There are too many gaps in his affidavit of service. So the only conclusion we can draw, my lady, and very respectfully so, and nothing to do with my learned friends, is that they've been misled. He asked the court to disregard the affidavit which contained evidence by TSC showing that they tried to serve NAT with the order requiring teachers to go back to work on July 2nd. Not only is it not truthful, but it's of absolutely no benefit or assistance to this court. TSC represented by lawyer Njoroge Mwangi maintained demands for punitive orders against NAT and its officials. Come Monday, Mwangi said that NAT had made it a habit of hiding to evade service and that they should not be allowed to benefit from their mischief. He said that the court was superior to the National Executive Council of the Union and a decision by NEC should not hold sway over a court order. TSC is seeking that Sosion and Zili are committed to civil jail for six months, that NAT is fined 20 million shillings and that striking teachers are each deducted 10,000 shillings from their salary. Lady Justice Ndolo is expected to deliver her ruling on Monday with specific orders that Sosion and Zili still attend the session in person.